Welcome to the Week in Forex brought to you by Maxi Forex. I'm Tammy Green and today we'll review last week's market highlights with financial analyst Martin Smith. This week, Hungary began taking steps to narrow its budget deficit. This is a preemptive move to lower the possibility of acquiring a bailout from the European Union. We also saw oil make a strong rebound towards the $75 level as exports from China felt a large surge. There are rumors out of England that the Bank of England may continue their stimulus plans as public spending cuts appear inevitable. Ben Bernanke announced this week that the Fed is preparing to counter effects that will be seen by the European crisis. So let's now welcome Martin Smith to give us his insight on these and other issues in the Forex market. Welcome, Martin. Hi, Tim. So, Hungary, is this good or bad news? And at this point, do you think that they can really um, avoid going the same way as Greece? Well, just this week, the forint, that's the Hungarian currency, strengthened for three days in a row. Now, Hungarian bond prices also rose on the news of the government's plans for an aggressive deficit reduction strategy. Now, this is a strong rebound since the currency hit its lowest on June 3rd when a Hungarian official sent the market into a panic by announcing that the country had a slim chance of avoiding Greece's situation. However, on Thursday of last week, we heard from the IMF's deputy managing director that there isn't too much to be concerned over right now in Hungary. And actually, by the way, Hungary was the first European Union member to be bailed out back in 2008, where they received 2 billion euros to avoid default. So the Hungarian's government's plan right now to enact a new tax on banks and also to cut public spending, this should do the trick? Well, to be honest, I don't believe that the details of this plan are so innovative, but rather it shows the Hungarian's devotion to reaching the budget target set by the IMF and the EU. I mean, there was a risk in the past of their deficit expanding to 6 or even 7% of the economy, but that's gone now, thankfully. So this should feed a slow recovery, yes. I know that we saw China's exports mm. rise a whopping 48.5% just in May. Now, how exactly is this affecting the price of oil? Uh, well, the increase in Chinese exports helped send oil up more than 3%. Now, most of the global growth, of course, that we've seen uh, over the last year has been from China. But there are questions as to whether the momentum can be sustained, especially considering what is happening in Europe, because of course Europe is one of China's biggest markets overseas. So China's May crude oil imports rose 4.3% from a year ago, but we're way off a record high hit in April. On to England. Mm. Uh, do you think the emergency stimulus package will stay intact for the time being? Well, reports from England are out that the BOE will keep the emergency stimulus in place to continue to nurture growth in the economy. Now, this is important, of course, as the new Prime Minister, David Cameron, is preparing some of the most extreme cuts in public spending since, since, uh, seen since the early 1980s. Um, policymakers are seeking to shield the English economy from the debt crisis sweeping the entire Eurozone. Ben Bernanke, the U.S. Federal Reserve Chairman, um, responded last week to concerns over the European debt crisis. Can you tell us a little bit about his response? Uh, yeah, Bernanke said that private demand is currently sustaining the U.S. recovery. However, the risk uh, that the U.S. is facing from the European debt crisis does require stronger action. Now, Bernanke told the House Budget Committee on Wednesday that while there is growth in the U.S. economy, it is not as fast as he would like, even though a recent survey shows expansion in all 12 Federal Reserve districts for the first time in more than two years. So Bernanke and gave no indication he'll soon back off from the central bank's pledge to keep interest rates at a record low for an extended period, given high unemployment and low inflation. It seems that this recovery has really good momentum right now, but what about America's ever-increasing budget deficit? Mm. Well, um, the Fed chairman again reiterated his request uh, for American lawmakers to devise a long-term plan to help budget, uh, reduce federal budget deficit. Now, this deficit is projected to widen to a shattering $1.55 trillion by the end of this fiscal year. So the U.S. really does need to make a strong commitment to fiscal responsibility for the long run. Thank you, Martin. It was a pleasure having you with us again this week. Until next week, I'm Tammy Green, and be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru.